Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 258 of our Grape Tour of the Famous Series. In this episode, we return to La Loma Catholic Cemetery and Manila North Cemetery in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen in third in this part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of an American businessman, a pilot, and U.S. Army officer, and best remembered as one of the founders of Boy Scout of the Philippines. And at the cemetery next door was the memorial of 24 Boy Scouts that perished due to plane crash on their way to attend the 11th War Jamboree in Marathon. Located at the middle section of La Loma Catholic Cemetery, we found the final resting place of Major Joseph Stibnott. Joseph Emil Hamilton Stibnott was born on the 23rd December 1888 in Melones, California. He was an American businessman, a pilot, and U.S. Army officer, and best remembered as one of the founders of Boy Scout of the Philippines. Steve not moved and stayed in the Philippines in early 1900 to manage his family businesses, mainly in mining operations. He also served in some companies including Bank of the Philippine Islands founded in 1851 as director, Philippine Trust Company founded in 1916 also as director, and Philippine Long Distance Telephone founded in 1928 as its executive vice president and general manager representing its original American investor, General Telephone and Electronics Corporation. As U.S. Army pilot, Steve Nunt was appointed to the command of the aviation unit of the Philippine National Guard and Reserve Forces during World War I. He was active in intelligence war during World War II. In early 1930s, Steve Nong was the chairman of the Finance Committee of Boy Scout of America, Philippine Islands Council No. 545. In 1934, Steve Nong was elected as the last president of the council before this was replaced by the incorporation of the Boy Scout of the Philippines. In October 1936, through Steve Nott's effort and support from prominent personalities as its incorporators, such as Carlos P. Romulo, Jose Vargas, Manuel Camus, and Gabriel Daza, Boy Scout of the Philippines was established through Commonwealth Act 111 signed by then President Manuel L. Quezon. In 1941, the Boy Scout of America recognized Steve Nott's services to the youth and was given the BSA Silver Buffalo Award. Steve Knott died on the 8th of June 1943 when his plane crashed in Vanuatu while on intelligence mission in the Southwest Pacific area during World War II. He was just 54. Steve Knott was initially buried in a small Pacific island of New Caledonia but later exhumed by U.S. Army and buried here at La Loma Catholic Cemetery. Besides Steve Knott's grave was his wife, Elma Luisa, who died in the United States in early 1980s. Her ashes were brought to the Philippines by Gabriel Daza, one of the original BSP founders, and one of Steve Knott's daughters, and buried beside Steve Knott's. Located next to the gates of Manila North Cemetery was a Boy Scout memorial built in large plot of ground by seat of Manila in memory of 24 delegates perished on their way to the 11th War Jamboree in Greece. In July 1959, BSP hosted the 10th World Scout Jamboree that was held at Mount Makili in Los Baños, Laguna and dubbed as the Bamboo Jamboree. This international event was attended by more than 12,000 delegates from more than 50 countries.
the 10th World Jamboree of Boy Scouts. Scouts of 54 nations get together in the Philippines. The youngsters needs help from the Philippine Army and the U.S. Navy to overcome a water shortage scheduled and the boys stage an impressive pageant. After four years, the 11th World Scout Jamboree was held at Marathon in Greece, which was attended by 14,000 delegates from more than 80 countries. This is the 10th World Scout Jamboree. 14,000,000 people who were represented in 1989 came from the small countries to meet with the Greek citizens and to give them all together a single 10th World Scout Jamboree and the leader of Constantinos, who was the leader of the Ministry of the Greek Empire. Αδελφοί πρόσκοποι, είπε ο διάδοχος Κωνσταντίνος. Εις το πρόσωπον σας χαιρετίζω τα εννέα εκατομμύρια. Οι πρόσκοποι του ενδεκάτου Τζάμπορη οργάνωσαν μεγάλη παρέλαση προς τιμήν του βασιλέως Παύλου που τίμησε με την παλμινεξέδρα του Έλληνος Άνακτος. Τέσσερις χιλιάδες πρόσκοποι παρήλασαν με αναπεπταμένες τις σημαίες τους και τα λάβαρα. Προσεφέρθη υπό αντιπροσωπείας εκπροσωπούσης τα μετέχοντα έθνη αναμυστικών δώρων. Δίνος, αφού παρέδωσε τη φλόγα του στρατοπέδου εις τους Αμερικανούς προσκόπους που θα οργανώσουν το 12ο Τζάμπορι την λήξη του εφετινού. Αδελφοί πρόσκοποι, είπε ο διάδοχος Κωνσταντίνος. Το Τζάμπορι μας έχουμε εις όλους σας κατεβόδιον και καλή αντάμωση. Ο Θεός Three days before the tragedy, the BSP delegation had a courtesy call in Malacanang Palace with then President Justado Macapagal. The delegation head and scoutmaster Dr. Bonifacio Vitan Lazgano introduced members of the delegation that will be flying to Greece on the 27th of June 1963. This were Scout Reverend Jose Maria Martinez of BSP Misamis Oriental Council, Scout Ramon Valdez Albana of BSP Manila Council, Scout Patricia Dulay Bayoran of BSP Manila Council, Scout Gabriel Nicolas Borromeo of BSP Manila Council, Scout Roberto Corpus Castor of BSP Quezon City Council, Scout Henry Cabrera Chuatoco of BSP Manila Council, Scout Jose Antonio Chiodian Delgado of PSP Manila Council, Scout Felix Palma Fentabella Jr. of PSP Camarines Sur Council, Scout Pedro Hermano Gandia of PSP Manila Council, Scout Victor Oteiza de Guia Jr. of PSP Baguio Benguet Council, Scout Antonio Mariano Limbaga of PSP Zamboanga Council, Scout Rogelio Celis Ibardulas of PSP Quezon City Council, Scout Ascari Ampiltuason of BSP Manila Council, Scout Antonio Rios Torillo of BSP Cavite Council, Scout Benicio Suarez Tobias of BSP Tarla Council, Scout Wilfredo Mendoza Santiago of BSP Manila Council, Scout Philomer Santos Reyes of BSP Cavite Council, Scout Romeo Rafael Rallos of BSP Quezon City Council, Scout Paulo Cabrera Madrinian of BSP Pasay Council, Scout Jose Fermin Gonzalez Magbanwa of BSP Negros Oriental Council, Scout Roberto Del Frado Lozano of BSP Dagupan Council, Scout Librando L.S. Fernandez of BSP Manila Council, and Scout Florante Lirio Ojeda of BSP Agusan Council. The group started their journey on the 27th of June 1963 and took KLM flight from Manila to Hong Kong to catch a connecting flight from Hong Kong to Athens via Bangkok, Thailand and Mumbai, India on United Arab Airlines, the present-day Egypt Air. 
The United Arab Airlines Flight 869 did not make it to Mumbai Airport and crashed into the sea near Mad Island in Mumbai shortly after midnight of 28 June 1963 after experiencing a heavy turbulence on approach to Mumbai Airport. All 52 passengers and 8 crews were killed in the plane crash including all 24 Philippine delegation to the 11th World Scout Jamboree. Subsequently, only five Boy Scouts were positively identified from the human remains recovered from the crash scene. In their legacy, a Boy Scout memorial for the 11th Port Scout Jamboree delegation was built by the city of Manila next to the gate of Manila North Cemetery. A memorial statue was built for the Boy Scout delegation with the first Quezon City Mayor Tomas Morato in a roundabout at the intersection of Timog Avenue and Tomas Morato in Quezon City. Several roads in Quezon City, which is also called Scout Area, were named after them. In the next episodes, we will post more Grade 2 videos of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery here in Manila and living in the Bayani in Tagui. Later in this channel, we will also post more Grade 2 videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next Grade 2 of the famous episodes.